What's up, guys? Um, quick, easy yard gnome for this project. Um, four foot piece of pine. It's not gonna be that big. It might be standing on a little base, but um, just stay tuned, and I'll kind of give you some instruction or some direction on what I'm doing, or let you know how I'm gonna do it. So. <laughs> Look at all my chainsaw. All right, uh, so starting with this log, this is a pine log, uh, white pine. It is extremely dirty. I drug it through some gravel and dirt, so I'm taking the time to get that off the log so it doesn't dull my carving bars, my carving chains on my other saws. So an old Husqvarna, standard bar and chain. Try to get that most of that off before I start. So here you go. I've switched to my MS261. I've got a 16 inch cannon, a carving bar, a quarter tip, and I just start shaping this guy out. Uh, kind of my goal was to kind of have him look like one of the seven dwarfs ish. So um, I want to see his uh, suspenders, his arms, uh, feet. Uh, not like a, a Swedish Tom Deer and or a gnome like that where his beard covers most of his body. So um, just whittling away at it. I use the tip of the bar to kind of sketch the things I want to carve. If I'm happy with it, then I'll just go with it. So I'm trying to establish the base. I want him standing on a base. I don't want him too short. Don't want him too tall. I still want him to look gnome-like, almost Smurf-like, I guess. So. Uh, so here we go. I've kind of established the top of the feet. I'll get the boots established, and once I get the boot location established, uh, then everything else kind of falls into place. Uh, as you can see here, there's, there goes the boots. Just use the tip of the chainsaw, removing little, little chunks here and there. Once I get a good idea of, of what I want, then I go ahead and I'll make the bigger cuts and, and be committed to my cuts. So um, that's pretty much it. There's the finished little gnome. Really quick carve. I got for birthday gifts so just chainsaw on this one no other tools just a chainsaw I did I guess I did use a sander to sand the top of the of the wood off when I painted everything dark brown but other than that there it is thanks for watching please like and subscribe got some more coming thank you